Hello and welcome to this session in which we will try to complete the integrated audit lessons. And in this lesson, we're going to look at the four reasons why we would modify internal control over financial reporting, modify the report. Now, integrated audit is when the auditor audit the financial statements and audit the internal control over financial reporting at the same time and issue a report about both the financial statements, also about internal control over financial reporting. In the prior session, we looked at the steps and we issued the report, plan the engagement using top-down approach, test and evaluate the design, test and evaluate the operating effectiveness. Then we looked at the, the type of the different type of internal control deficiencies. Then we look at the issuer report, non-issuer report. And we looked at a clean opinion. In this session, we're gonna look at reports where it's not a clean or we need to modify the report for one reason or the others. And I summarize this into four reasons, adverse opinion, and under adverse opinion, I have a sub reason called management report is not complete or not properly presented. Now, some CPA review courses and some courses, they have this as a separate session. I believe they are connected. When you have an adverse opinion and we say and we assume that management did not report the material weakness, so I'm just going to combine them together. You might have a scope issue. We should all be familiar with the scope. It means you could not do the work. Uh, referencing a component auditor, someone else is working on the engagement and to provide additional information. Now, if you know anything about Farhat, every time I have a list, I'm gonna go over this list step by step. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Starting with adverse opinion. Adverse opinion, it's basically a bad opinion. When do we give a bad opinion? When we have one material weakness. One material weakness, good enough. In that report, we are going to define the material weakness. We are going to reference the description in the management report. So we're going to reference that the description of it is in the management report. Or state that the management report did not identify the matter or did not present the matter properly. And this is what I, what, this is what I wanted to say is, this management report is not complete, kind of related to adverse opinion because it, it would arise from that. So this is how I looked at it, okay? So also we have to determine the effect on the audit of the entity's financial statement. Simply put, now we have an adverse opinion about internal control over financial reporting. How is that going to influence the opinion about the financial statements themselves? Remember, we are looking at two reports. One is internal control over financial reporting and one is financial statement. If we have a bad opinion here, adverse, how is that going to affect the financial statement? Well, we might state whether the opinion on the financial statement was affected by adding an other paragraph, an other matter paragraph. We can do that or include in the paragraph that identified the material weakness or in the material weakness paragraph, we can explain if there's any effect on the financial statements. We could also have a scope limitation. And at this point, we should be familiar with a scope limitation. As simply put, we had some sort of a restriction. We cannot perform the work. We cannot collect sufficient appropriate evidence for one reason or the other. What will we do under those circumstances? We can withdraw from the engagement if we're not comfortable, or just also we can disclaim an opinion, stating the reasons for the disclaimer. We need to consider also the effect on the audit on the financial statements under those circumstances. Now, this is what an opinion, a disclaimer would look like. We, we were engaged to audit Adams Company internal control based on COSO because of the significance of the matter described in the basis for the disclaimer of opinion. So we'll have a, we'll have a paragraph, disclaimer of opinion on internal control over financial reporting, we have not been able to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence to provide basis for the audit opinion. Accordingly, we don't express, we are disclaiming an opinion on the effectiveness of Adams Company internal control over financial reporting. Now this is basically PCAOB, the AICPA will have a similar language, but the point is 
you cannot collect enough evidence now if you found any weaknesses before you get to this point you would list any material weakness if any is found obviously without saying you'd inform management and those in charge with governance about the scope limitation and writing a third a third situation when you reference a component auditor now just like a financial statement yes you could use a third party to help with the internal control over financial reporting like another auditor maybe another party but you have to assess their competency and objectivity of that third party personnel and the firm overall it's very similar to the financial statement audit involvement however when it comes to mentioning or not mentioning it's the principal auditor's judgment whether you want to mention or not and bear in mind whether you mention or not is not related to the component auditor for the financial statement so the decision not related to referencing the component auditor of the financial statements what i'm trying to say is this for the financial statements you might also have a component auditor and you might mention them for the internal control over financial reporting you may not you may not mention them or you may mention them on the internal control over financial reporting and not mention them for the financial statement it is a judgment call provide additional information well when do we have to do that the classic case is when management report goes far or inconsistent for example when management says something in the report remember management will have to issue a report about their own internal control but if the management goes a little bit beyond what they're supposed to do um, and the classic question that comes on the exam is cost benefit statement for example they would have a report and they would say well we did not fix this internal control issue because the cost outweighed the benefit therefore we did not take care of this internal control issue now as an auditor we might have to add a paragraph saying that we want to disclaim like we don't want to say we agree so we might add another paragraph matter to disclaim an opinion on the other information in the management report because that's kind of basically another opinion by management and if somebody reading the report we don't want them to think that we agree with that statement and always it's better to ask management to change those you know inconsistent or out of the line in quote uh, statements what should you do now integrated audit is an important topic on the cpa exam go to farhat lectures look at mcqs i have mcqs that were previously released by the aicp about this topic specifically go ahead look at the questions look at the answers wrap it up it's a lot of information here we have seven or eight recording about integrated audit trying to explain it step by step at this point you should know what integrated audit immediately auditing the financial statement issuing an opinion and auditing the internal control over financial reporting and issuing an opinion about both at the same time good luck study hard you just need three to five hours invested in this topic and you will get it done i'm always here for you